There are a couple of things that you need to know about Diane Lake, the redshirt freshman defensive back for BYU. Yes, he has worked his way into a starting role over Michael Davis. He's a really good player. Has two big interceptions. One of them got returned for a pick six at Boise State. He went to my alma mater, Northridge High School in Layton, Utah. So we have that unique bond. We will talk about that in our two-on-one conversation. Hey, don't act like you don't bring it up when you Copper Hills Grizzly is mentioned, Jerem. It's just so rare. <laughs> and he might have the lowest voice I've ever heard. Uh, I'm Diane Lake. I'm Richard Freshman. He, yeah, it's so deep. We're two-on-one so with the freshman defensive back, Diane Lake. Diane Lake. It's always an honor and a privilege to be joined by a fellow Northridge Knight on BYU Sports Nation. Diane it, Lake. It is, Northridge. Yeah, beat my high school uh, my senior year in the state playoffs football. It's great, Spencer. Welcome <laughs> to BYU Sports Nation, <laughs> Diane Lake. It's good to be here. You know, <laughs> practice field, just chilling. Now, you, you were uh, getting some advice from Micah Simon before we started this interview. What was he telling you to do? To, I don't know, ask who the better who the best receiver is and who's why, do he, why don't I go on his side, but the real reason is because he looks more like OBJ, so I try to stay away from Micah's side and just stay on the left side with a little easier receiver, so make myself look good. <laughs> <laughs> he's a red-shirting <laughs> freshman who is going to be a good player, I think, next year. Yeah, or, sorry, yeah. he's a uh, sophomore, I think. But. Now, you had the opportunity to get into the end zone this year, and we want to talk to you about that on, on the show. What is it like when you realize, I'm going to score a touchdown for the defense. Ooh, it's the best feeling because you don't get that a lot. So when the defense guy scores, it's like, dang. But I wasn't trying to celebrate too hard because guys get on you like, you got to act like you've been there and the rest are like getting their flags ready to throw. So you just got to act like you've been there before. Even though it was my first time, it felt good. <laughs> you hadn't been there before. That's the funny thing, yeah. <laughs> I know you just got to act like it though, so, you know. <laughs> That was against Boise State, and that was a fantastic play, one of two uh, pick sixes for the BYU defense. Later on the replay, we discovered that that line was not straight. What did you, what did you see after the game about the line on the sideline there? It gave you a couple inches of sand. Yeah, I think someone like tagged me on the post. I think it was one of you guys or someone tagged me on the post and showed the Boise State sideline. And I was like, yeah, if I were like size 12 and a half even, because I were like 11 and a half, 12, then I'd be out. But I was like, <laughs> I was like, thank you, boys. I tried to find the equipment people to go <laughs> to go thank them. <laughs> but I think I get in trouble for that probably. But, you know, I was grateful that the line was like that, all curvy and stuff. So. The Mountain West money. Yeah, fantastic stuff. <laughs> Six and four, bowl eligible. Uh, now headed to San Diego and the Poinsettia Bowl, but you've got two games left. It's hard not to focus on San Diego in December, but you got some business to take care of. So uh, how do you not overlook UMass and Utah State and, and think too much about the bowl game? Uh, coach, well, Coach already gave us, like, the big news and stuff and all the stuff we're going to get a bowl game and that we're bowl eligible. But we're just focusing on UMass right now and then Utah State, obviously. But uh, UMass, like, they're a good team. Everyone's being like, oh, look at their record. But they're a good team. Like, they stayed in the game with Florida, uh, South Carolina. So we're not, like – downgrading them or anything we're just treating them like another team like ucla all those other teams we played and they're a fellow independent it's not a conference but sort of right you yeah. need you need to respect the fellow independent yeah we figured this is like the independent championship kind <laughs> of <laughs> the independent championship yeah. this is the last game against the independent school so it's a championship game right now <laughs> we wish it was notre dame but it's umass <laughs> yeah that's how it works what you mentioned uh, some of the gifts you were told what you're going to get for the bowl game which is like you know bowl game we get a lot of gear yeah. so a lot of kids are looking forward to that. We check our lockers every day, see if there's anything new, but same, just towels so far. But <laughs> coach said, coach said they're gonna be there soon. Yeah. So hopefully we see them late, like this week or something. If something doesn't fit, you know who to call, okay? All right, I got you. <laughs> what size are you? <laughs> <laughs> medium. Medium. <laughs> Hopefully it fits you. If it doesn't fit, then you got me with a medium. That's yeah, I got you. Yeah, exactly. You don't need to help out a Copper Hills Grizzly. This is That's about true. You'd probably high up school Ridge. alums here, right? I get it. I'll call Silver Siliaga on the Seahawks. <laughs> Fine. We're Diane Lake, uh, defensive back for BYU. You take care of Southern Utah. How do you feel like BYU got better in that game on Saturday? Uh, just like our techniques. Like that's one thing we emphasize on defense, like techniques and assignments. And Southern Utah, we didn't overlook them either, but just like as a competition, we just figured we, this is a time to work on our techniques, get ready for the bowl games, the other games coming up, Utah State, UMass, and all that. And your development's been good this year. What's it been like to, you redshirted last year, and now you've, you've started, you played a lot. What's it been like for you this season? It's been exciting because last year, I don't know, it was like kind of depressing, I guess, for me because I wanted to come in, play, at least get some playing time, even if I didn't have to like start with the whole coaching staff. But 
uh, coming in this year and like being an impact to the team and helping the team like on kickoff, special teams. However, you know, it's just been good and exciting, and I just try to get better and better each game. Where has Coach Gennaro Guilford helped you develop in your personal game as a defensive back? Oh, that would have to be staying patient because in high school, I was just like, oh, I'm going to get this dude. And I just go up and just jam him, try to lunge. And I, of course, I'd get them because they're slower in high school. But here, uh, I used to just still do, try to do the same thing, lunge, but the shoes are better and they'll like, avoid you. And so he just like helped me be more patient, like keep moving my feet and before my hands and all that. So that helped a lot. Who's the toughest receiver you've played against this season? Uh, it would probably have to be number eight from uh, Mississippi State. He Ross? Fred Ross. Ross. He was good. He's a good route runner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he's fast. <laughs> What's it been like to play? You've played really eight really tough games, and then the back four, It's those are still some quality programs, but not as tough. So how, how have you guys managed the kind of uneven uh, schedule there? We just, uh, well, the first start of our schedule, everyone knew it was going to be hard, and uh, we won the games we had to win, and we could have won more, obviously, but we just kept going. That's how we we try to play the same against these other teams too. Even though they're not as high as an opponent, we try still try to play the same and don't play down a level or anything. Just stay a high level. Other than redshirt receiver Micah Simon, who is the toughest BYU <laughs> receiver you go up against in practice? In practice, besides our avatars, Nick and Merle and I, <laughs> I call them avatar receivers, and they both go out there. He's barely had to catch. <laughs> He's barely had a catch on me, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those guys are like, I don't know, they're hard to guard just because they're like 6'6", six, 6'5". Six, six, they're hard to guard, but the quickest one would probably, the hardest one would probably be Jonah or Bo Tanner because it's mm. so shifty and quick and it's just hard to stay with them. Very good stuff. All right, Diane, we appreciate the time. Let's give you some BYU Sports Nation karma for the game uh, against UMass on Saturday. Uh, I just want everyone to watch the game and keep cheering us on and fill the stadium, obviously, because we don't like when the stadium's empty. <laughs>